Lesson 9, Graphing Distance versus Time. One of our recurring themes in this unit is that proportions run deep into the heart of algebra, and in this lesson, we'll see an example of that. Here, we're going to solve some proportions, then we're going to graph the results. Box A says, a car travels 20 miles per hour. How far does it go in two hours? So let's set up our proportion. We have miles per hour equals miles per hour. Let's put in the values where they belong. 20 miles, here's 20 miles. Per hour means per one hour. So I'll write down one right here next to hours. The question asks, how far does it go in two hours? So two goes right here with hours. Solve the proportion, times two times two. 20 times two gives you 40, and here we have 40 miles. So I'll write it down and box my answer. Next step is we're going to graph this value. So take a look at the graph below. Here along the bottom, we're going to be measuring time. So write down time. And we're measuring time using hours. So I'll write H in the parentheses. Going across the side here, we're measuring distance. So write down distance. And we're measuring distance using miles in this example. Write it down. So in box A, the car went 40 miles in two hours. So let's go ahead and graph that. Here's two hours. And in those two hours, the car went 40 miles, which is right here. So I'll put a point right there and label that point A. Here's box B. How far does it go in three hours? So let's set up a proportion. Miles per hour equals miles per hour. And the car is going the same speed of 20 miles per hour. So I'll write that down. 20 miles per one hour. How far does it go in three hours? So three goes right here. Multiply by three. 20 times 3 gives you 60, and box B is 60 miles in 3 hours. Let's go ahead and plot that result. So 3 hours, 60 miles. Here's 3 hours, and let's go up to 60 miles, which is right here, and label that point B. Here's box C. How far does it go in four hours? Here's a proportion. Miles per hour equals miles per hour. And again, the car is still going that same 20 miles per hour. So here's 20 miles per one hour. How far does it go in four hours? So here's four. Multiply by 4, multiply by 4, 20 times 4 gives you 80 miles in 4 hours. So I'll write down 80 miles. Let's get ready to put that on the graph. 4 hours, 80 miles. 4 hours up to 80 miles, which is right here, and that is point C. Last one, box D. How far does it go in five hours? We have miles per hour equals miles per hour. It's going the same 20 miles per hour, 20 miles per one hour. How far does it go in five hours? Here's five right next to hours. Multiply by 5. 20 times 5 gives you 100. Write your answer. And that's box D. So let's go ahead and plot box D. We have 5 hours, 100 miles. 
here's our graph. Five hours, 100 miles way up here. And label that point D. The next thing we'll do is we'll see what happens when we connect these four points. So I'll go ahead and take a straight edge. I'll put my pencil tip right here on point D, touch it with my ruler, and adjust it to get to point A. And here, I'm going to draw one straight line. And as you can see, all four points were connected by a single straight line. So here's a key concept to point out to students, and it's the concept of constant speed. Notice in box A, the car was going 20 miles per hour. In box B, it was still going 20 miles per hour. Box C, still 20 miles per hour. And in box D, the same speed of 20 miles per hour. So this graph here shows constant speed. And you can tell just by looking at it because it forms a straight line. So anytime you're graphing distance against time, if it forms a straight line, you know that something is going at a constant speed. The object is getting further and further as it goes along, but the speed is the same speed the whole way through, and you can tell because it makes a straight line. So the graphing example that we just looked at shows just one example of how proportions run deep into the heart of algebra.